Well, good morning, guys, and uh, welcome to a uh, another video on the channel. And uh, welcome to a pretty grey morning here out west on the, on the beach. And uh, I'm going to be using a, a surface law this morning um, before perhaps maybe checking out the surf as it gets the uh, as the uh, tide gets a little bit higher. But yeah, intentions this morning just going to uh, be fishing the flood over some um, some weedy and uh, rocky areas next to uh, Rocco uh, Tower. Um, I'm going to be using a surface law. It's pretty calm conditions today uh, and I've actually brought my um, Pachinko 140 with me and I probably could have got away with something a little bit more subtle but um, I'm going to give it a go with this and just see how I get on anyway. Oh, just missed the take then. Come on, come again, come again. First chuck out that was. They're not big fish here, they're fairly small usually, but you do get the old big one in the mix. Oh well, that's a good sign. Get back out. I'm actually using my uh, bigger setup today. It's the uh, HTO Nebula 15 to 56 gram um, rod. Uh, it's 10 foot as well, so it's, it's ideal for, for the beach on in the surf and doing this sort of stuff, but because um, I haven't got a landing net. If you've got a landing net, then you need a little bit of a longer one um, just to be able to net the fish, because it can be a bit tricky otherwise. But I'm just going to move back because I can feel the water's going up a little bit on my waders still fishing at the same time this tide is racing in today it's coming in really quick it's like a 35 foot tide just walk back a touch there's a little head just next to me here but, um, behind me that might be uh, holding some fish when it gets covered so i think i'll stay until that's covered and just cast the top water law at it um, like i say i'm not expecting huge fish this morning um, maybe fish around one two pound three pounder I'd be chuffed with actually to be honest. The, the Exorus range um, that do the Pachinkos, the uh, Frosties, the uh, Astories um, and the Bad Boy as well, that's another good surface law. Um, for them literally all you need to do is just a constant retrieve and just twitch the rod tip. There's no special art to uh, to the surf surface law fishing. Some, some laws react a little bit differently depending on what you're doing with the rod tip like uh, the pachinko 140 here for example if i have the rod in the raised position and do my twitches i'll get a lot more splash and uh, i'll be able to see the law a little bit better as well further out which i can now there's always that time um, during first light conditions where you can't quite see the law and uh, i find just as that sun's coming up so you can just see the law at the end of your cast that's when i prefer using the surface law as long as i can see it just just about see it conditions stay like this then uh, it'll be ideal for for tomorrow morning with a uh, with a uh, later tide let's try here Conditions as well, quite foggy today. Come on. So I'm actually going with something uh, completely different entirely. Um, I'm gonna try uh, a Dexter wedge. It's uh, a wedge of metal. Uh, 28 grams this one with a treble fitted so I'm actually just going to whack this as far as I can and just do a, a steady retrieve if you've not used these laws before they really wobble like crazy let's just see 
I'll be shocked if I don't get a bite, to be honest. But I won't be shocked if I get covered in weed. I know there's a lot of weed. Pretty sure I see the fish jump in there. Still see me right? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, let it sink a little bit. This is definitely one of them sessions where it's uh it's not the uh catching that counts, it's the taking part <laughs> or enjoying it. I am enjoying it, but I'm just amazed that I've not had anything yet. Even a schooling. Oh, no weed. Oh, got my hopes up then straight away. So I'm going to head back in now. I might give it a go this afternoon and uh, perhaps again in the morning um, just as them tides are getting a little bit later more than likely try that side of the beach um, this afternoon with some spinners um, and if that doesn't work then perhaps try some uh, light ledgering uh, with some small worm baits and uh, see how that goes well hello guys back out for the uh, afternoon trip um, conditions have uh, completely changed and I have to admit I'm not out on the same session uh, the same day uh, it's actually uh, the following day from the uh, morning session that I just videoed uh, and conditions have changed uh, drastically um, so we've got a uh, build up of wind now um, there's quite a lot of surf um, so I wouldn't have been able to fish how I was uh, wading out using surface laws um, I wouldn't be able to do that today I get swept away so uh, I've come to the other side of the uh, of the beach and I'm, I'm going to fish next to, next to some reefs um, using some metals and stuff like that um, hopefully I can actually bang a lure out in this in this wind because it's a uh, it is actually quite windy the tide's actually coming in now and it has been for about an hour um, and, and the sun's starting to go down as well so everything's ideal um, just whether there's a fish here or not more than likely if I'm gonna get anything it's gonna be schoolies uh, on the metals but you never know there might be the odd one or two big fish in the mix um, I've had them down here on, on worm bait so I don't see why they're not gonna take a lure a lot of white water out here this afternoon so yeah it's looking pretty good anyway I'll give you a quick uh, quick look at the lures that I uh, usually take for me when I'm doing this not that I do it much but the selection that I've got that I'm uh, probably more than likely going to chuck out some of them today and just see how I get on so uh, I'll just give you a quick look at them now and then uh, we'll crack on well as you can see guys I've got a uh, nice bit of uh, calmer conditions to my right this is where I usually fly fish in here um, and to my left it's a, a little bit more sur surfy conditions and um, there's usually a few fish in there but it's, it's even uh, fly fishing it can be quite difficult doing that especially with the uh, the wind is the way it is today i wouldn't have been able to do that so uh, that's why i got the uh, lure rod with me which is the uh, same setup that i was using the other morning the 15 to 56 hto nebula pen spin fisher 35 3, 3500 loaded with 20 pound hto nebula braid go into a um, I think it's a uh, 20 pound uh, rubbin leader that I've got on there and a lure clip. So yeah, same setup as uh, I've been using lately in the videos. Um, I'll just run you through uh, some of the lures that I'm intending to chuck out and hopefully uh, catch sight this time. On the lure side of things then guys, um, 
pretty much the usual. So yeah guys, uh, a couple of softies, uh, some heavier fish minnows, JJ minnows, pencils, some metals and uh, some softies. That's pretty much what it's going to be uh, this afternoon session. Um, I'd like to chuck one of these out if the wind allows me to um, and if there's not too much weed. So uh, I'm going to start off with the metal, see how that goes and then uh, probably look to do a couple of switch, quick switches uh, in between uh, casts if it's not happening. But uh, to, off to the right hand side looks uh, a bit promising for the uh, weedless stuff. Um, it's a little bit shallower and uh, there's a few more features in there as well. It's small little uh, thin gullies, but out in this open surf, more than likely going to be metals. So uh, I'll give that a bash and uh, we'll see how we get on. So there's a nice bit of surf today. As it comes around this uh, feature here, um, there's going to be a nice surge of tide. So I'll be casting towards this feature when it's underwater. Um, perhaps chuck on some weedless laws because there's quite a lot of kelp there that's washed up uh, and there's a little bit there further out so more than likely going to catch a lot of weed now doing this but on the off chance there might be a couple of schooly bass in the mix and perhaps one that's uh, slightly bigger so i'm just casting the uh metal out going to do is just a slow straight retrieve but I can see already there's a load of weed out there so I'm more than likely going to pick up a lot of this weed that's out there. Yeah it's all this stuff that's out there guys. Usually when uh, chucking metals out and stuff like that, you're going to pick it up here. You've just got to find the fish in between. And usually when I'm bait fishing down places like this, the fish tend to be around where the weed is anyway, so hopefully we can pick something up. There's a heck of a lot of it. A lot of weed there. I might just move down the beach slightly. Um, perhaps try off to my right hand side on the other side of these features. There's a bit of a channel. So uh, I might go and do that. Um, hopefully there's something there. Well, I'd quickly show you guys, see all this weed here. The majority of this is loose. This isn't connected to any of the reef or anything. This is just what's been washed up. You can see this big pile of it. So this is pretty much what I'm fishing uh, against, um, trying to pick up a fish. But the other thing is, this is what the uh, fish come in to have a mooch at, because what happens is when it rots, it gets eggs in it, like fly larvae and stuff like that. And the fish love it. You get mullet, uh, you get the bass, you get the thin lip mullet coming in and they'll all have a little bash on that. But yeah, you can see it's going to be a bit of a nightmare casting over all this. So I'll probably be going on to weedless um, in the hope that it actually sits on the bottom and I can just run a lot across the top of it. But I can see in front there's a little head there, some breakers behind it. And uh, just to the right here, there's a little channel. Uh, there's a reef there. This reef here that's obviously out of the water and there's a little gap in the middle there. So I'm going to see with this wind if I can bang a lure up through that channel and just bring it through because naturally I believe that's what a bass is going to be doing is coming through this channel. Well it's really shallow in front of me there. But you never know running that metal up there. Having to use metals just because of the wind. Let's go lift my rod tip. Hopefully you can see in front there's uh, quite a bit of that, that kelp that's sat in a big ditch there. nice to get a fish conditions are ideal sun's going down there 
clouds just blocking it out. Nice, some nice uh, white water behind these reefs. And the tide's not too bad either. Don't know if you guys can see, but just behind this uh, weed line here that's getting picked up with the tide now, uh, it will probably stay where it is, but you can probably see some bits coming off it now, just in front there, bits breaking off it, um, which is causing me some aggro in here now. But just behind it, where the uh, head is in there, that area, there's a big channel that runs through the middle and the tide's actually rushing through there. So a good idea now would be to ping it to the uh, to the waves that are breaking there and uh, it's a pretty uh, pleasant uh, place to be fishing this evening with this uh, sunset so yeah can't ask for much more a lot of weed out there though ah, i'm already in some weed straight away might even lose my lure now I think I'll only have a couple more chucks of this metal just because of the weed situation. If I knew it was going to be like this, probably would have uh, chucked on a softy. Right, what shall I try? Picking loads of weed up, and I need something heavy to cast out. But I could try the uh, JJ minnow, and then maybe the heavier fish minnow. If that uh, JJ minnow doesn't work out. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's the uh, pearl version. It's obviously been in with uh, a lot of a different colour that's uh, melted onto it, I think. A bit of uh, colour share in there, but shouldn't be an issue. Now this, in theory, should, should be right with this weed that's here and that. having issues with this weed it's a nightmare ah oh, so frustrating with that weed guys so frustrating i'm gonna try the other side of this reef um, in the hope that that weed's actually uh, gonna bypass this little bay bit that i'm gonna fish this is another little spot that I like to do with the fly so much weed so difficult such a challenge i mean look at all that i'm casting into this to try and pick up a bass with a little lure like that that's getting coated in it so yeah i'm literally just bouncing in here guys I have to do a quick battery change of the GoPro and then uh, crack on again but it's starting to get dark now so um, I'll have a couple more chucks use this battery up and then get a fresh one on well guys ah, need to get this camera on I just uh, just hooked up on the minnow it's not a bad one either it's not huge but I'm going to bring him in and we'll check him out but Oh, I just tried my uh, lucky fly fishing uh, gully. I managed to hook one. I was beginning to lose hope then. Hey, he's not a bad little schoolie. Hey, hey. that's flooding around this uh, little reef here in front of me 
I thought I'll just whip this minnow out really quick and just have a couple of blasts. And uh, this is where I usually do my fly fishing. Obviously, I'd love to have my fly rod with me, but still, to get one with this windy conditions that we got at the moment, it's absolutely buzzing. I'm buzzing. Uh, lovely little uh, tiny bass for the surf, but yeah, spot on. Let's watch him go back now. Look at that, off he goes. That was on the uh, JJ Minnow, probably the uh, fifth or sixth chuck I've had with the law. And uh, as you can see in front, this isn't far out, this is probably about 30 foot in front of me, there's uh, a reef. And there's a little bit of tide running just here, so I flicked it up tide and just let the uh, let the minnow bounce over all this uh, that weed that I said that was resting um, in these little bay bits for the tide. So I'm gonna give it another shot and uh, have the camera on this time. <laughs> I've got a shoot now, so uh, I'm going to knock it on the head there, but I hope you enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Until the uh, next surf session, until the uh, next trip out, tight lines, and see you in the next video.